Hi scholars, today we're going to learn how to use the subtraction algorithm, the standard algorithm, and an algorithm is just a step-by-step -step way that we follow, um, a certain way to carry out an operation. The operation we're going to deal with today is subtraction, so we have a step-by-step -step way to subtract. Alright, what we're going to do is we're going to follow the pre-step, um, the step one and step two. Now I have the pre-step in green because that's what you do before you um, begin the problem. So that's your, that's your first step that you start with. And usually we think of green as like go. All right, so it says the pre-step. The first step is to, in the algorithm, line up the digits so that ones are under ones and tens are under tens, okay? So you line up your digits first. Um, next, after that, the step after that is to, once you've set up your problem, then you follow the first step. The first step, step one, says to subtract the ones. So you're going to look at the number that's right on the same line as the subtraction sign, and you're going to subtract those number of ones. Now, if there are not enough ones, where are you going to figure that out? Looking right above. If there are not enough ones, you're going to have to rename the tens and the ones. All right? And one fact to remember is 110 is equal to 10 ones. Okay? Then step two is to subtract the tens. If there aren't enough tens, rename the hundreds and tens. But for these problems we're going to deal with today, we're not going to have um, any renaming of hundreds, all right? Because we only have two digits that we're dealing with. All right, so let's look at the problem. The problem is asking us to subtract 61 minus 34. All right, subtract 34 from 61. In a subtraction problem, the first number that you see that I'm, that I'm uh, drawing the arrow over right now is the whole, all right? This number right here, the 34, is the part, all right? So we're, we're being asked to subtract 34 from 61. We're going to draw a picture model first. Drawing the picture model. We're going to draw a rectangular box, or close to it, and we're going to label each place value position. So these are ones, these are tens. All right. In subtraction, you only draw the whole. That is it. That is it. All right. Only draw the whole. So the whole here is 61. All right. 61. So we're going to draw six tens, one one. Let's draw six tens. One, two, three, four, five, six tens. Notice how six is five and one. And then we're going to draw one, one. One, one. All right. Now we have done the pre-step for the picture model. For the vertical model, all we're going to do is start with 61, start with our whole. And we're going to draw our lines just to make sure everything stays neat and we're going to subtract 34 34 is going to start in the tens place so we're going to start it right there and work our way to the right there are no more numbers so we put our horizontal line and then we are subtracting 34 don't forget about that it's very important all right so if we look here we're trying to subtract four ones Step one says to subtract the ones, so we subtract the ones. Subtract the ones. Subtract four ones. Do we have enough ones to subtract four ones from? No. So what we have to do is we have to look here one more time. Subtract four ones. If the whole does not have that many number of ones or more, you have to rename. Rename the tens and ones. So we're going to use this one fact, 110 is equal to 10 ones. So we're going to unbundle one of these tens that I've just drawn a line from, and we're going to unbundle that into 10 ones. So we're going to draw 10 ones here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now that we've done that, we now have renamed the tens and ones. How many tens have not been touched at all? One, two, three, four, five. So the new number of tens is five tens. 
And how many ones do we have now? Well, there are 10 ones here. 10 and 1 makes 11. 10 and 1 makes 11. So we now have 11 ones. And that is called renaming. So 6 tens, 1 1 has another name. 5 tens and 11 ones. Okay? All right. Now that we've done our renaming, now we can subtract the ones. We're trying to subtract four ones. Do we have enough? Yes, we do, because the whole is four or more ones. So let's take away four ones in our model. We're going to take away four ones from the ten ones. One, two, three, four ones we've subtracted. How many ones do we have left? Well, we have five, six, seven ones. So we have seven ones left, and that's what the other part will be. So we put a seven ones here and also a seven ones in the vertical model. Basically this picture model is just the same thing as the vertical model. I'm just using pictures to help you to understand. All right. Next, we've subtracted the ones. Check. Now we subtract the tens. Let's check to see if there are enough tens. I'm trying to subtract three tens. Do I have, do I have enough tens to subtract three tens from? Yes. So I have five tens. I can subtract three from that. Let's do that. Subtract three from five. One, two, three. All right. So I have how many tens? One, two tens. And I put two tens here and two tens here. Therefore, the answer to this problem of 61 minus 34 is 27. A completed number sentence will show that 61 equals 30, sorry, 61 minus 34 equals 27. That is the completed number sentence. All right, 61 minus 34 equals 27. All right, so that's the number sentence that will follow. And I hope that you really got some practice in seeing how to subtract using the subtraction algorithm um, and using these steps to really understand how it is that you do subtract. First of all, that picture model is very helpful because it shows you exactly what you're doing with each step over here in the vertical model. Now, this is what you're probably used to seeing, the vertical model. But the picture model helps you to get a deep understanding as to what you're doing um, so that when you look at your vertical model, you really understand exactly the concept that you're following. Hope you enjoyed, and come back to Math with Mr. Almeida um, for more videos related to subtraction and other mathematical topics. Take care. Bye-bye.